Hi, Ramon. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I'm just going to spit it out. Caffeine is a hormone disruptor. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's an ugly, ugly truth. And um, I'm in my fibro elimination diet phase right now. I'm still in coffee with caffeine, quote unquote. I call it coffee withdrawal for me because that's the main source of caffeine I was getting. And it's December 30th. I actually just started on December 7th and I'm still in withdrawal. Um, of course, I didn't wean off of it because of my timelines between getting this done to an, the ultrasound appointment. But that being said, please wean off of your coffee if you're going to be eliminating coffee. Um, I'll speak about the symptoms later. Now, caffeine. Caffeine messes with your cortisol levels and your adrenals and your, um, you know, androgens and estrogen. It messes it up. And I now understand why I was so tired all the time. Yes, PCOS has fatigue, but I was making myself more fatigued by exhausting my adrenals and really messing with my cortisol. And it's frustrating that it took me having to go through, having, getting fibroids and then having to go through this. It took me to realize that caffeine is actually a problem. It's a drug, it's a stimulant, it's a problem. So, I'm actually not comfortable with that whole notion because I'm looking forward to the day that I can drink coffee. But this is what I would recommend. For those of you, this is again hormone related. If you have a hormone issue, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching this, whether you have fibroids, any kind of endocrine issue, PCOS, um, reduce, eliminate your caffeine. Now, something you know to live with, if you can't, you just can't, recommendation is half cup on Monday full cup on Tuesday, half cup on Wednesday, full cup on Thursday, then slow it down to half cup, half cup, half cup. So your shot is just a little bit that's not going to aggravate so much compared to a larger cup. Um, so this, I think, would be easier to sustain and also get that quick high that one needs. Now, this depends on each situation, each body. Maybe any caffeine is bad for you. You can tell. One of the things I will say is I should have known that every time I had caffeine or high amounts of it, I'm more anxiety ridden. And one of the positives that came up through this three, two, three weeks is my anxiety started dropping, dropping. Yeah, I was in another hell, <laughs> but it started dropping. And I'm, I have to say my anxiety is almost gone. So please look at caffeine as uh, something to assess for your body, for your hormone health, and consider it. And it's a big learning curve, and I just feel bad that I actually, you know, dismiss that whole notion that caffeine would be a problem. Uh, because it's everywhere. It's in keto diet, it's with fasting, and of course people who don't have hormone issues can do it. But if you have underlying hormone issues like us ladies out there, it's something to consider. Okay, now I'm just going to go to, through the um, withdrawal symptoms. So withdrawal symptoms for me, migraine headaches, um, I mean, ongoing, extreme fatigue, uh, motor, uh, uh, motor uh, skills were like affected, um, uh, you know, brief blue blurry vision, flu-like symptoms, chills, sore throat, um, and uh, constipation, nausea. Uh, so a lot of things were... I've gone through uh, with this withdrawal. So don't want to scare anyone, but if you're going to be eliminating, then please wean yourself off. This was cold turkey, not a good thing or not a good idea. Anyways, just thought to share this, kind of make a, you know, kind of a, also provide that knowledge because um, I don't think it's talked about enough. And I honestly didn't know, like I must have been literally in my own lava land, um, that caffeine could be a major contributor to hormone issues. Okay, that's it for today. I'm going to now sign off and wish all of you Happy New Year's. I will be uploading on my regimen with the fiber diet, um, which will also be beneficial for the PCOS sufferers. Like, I'm still a PCOS sufferer and fibroid uh, person here, but okay, talk later. Take it easy. Stay safe.